Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create virtual machine using Hyper-V Manager. If you have question on how to install Hyper-V Manager, please check out my other videos. I will add the link to this video description on how to install Hyper-V Manager. Okay, so let's go ahead create virtual machine. First, we need to open Hyper-V Manager by clicking Start Hyper-V Manager. If we don't see Hyper-V Manager in the Start menu, I need to click this uh, all app and then uh, we should be able to see the hyper manager okay already it's pinned to the start menu so click start hyper manager and then top left right click on computer new virtual machine click next since I'm going to install Windows 10 on this virtual machine I'm gonna go ahead call it Windows 10 and I'll click next here we have two options first generation and second generation if we select the first generation it will be backward compatible with the previous version of Hyper-V if we select the second generation which will have some new features such as secure boot, SCSI boot and Pixie boot using the standard network adapter and it is only compatible on server 2012 above and windows 8 above and also we need to keep in mind once virtual machine has been created we cannot change its generation my case will be the first generation i'm gonna go ahead and click next here we can select the amount of the ram we want to assign to this virtual machine and we can also change it down the road we just want to make sure the virtual machine is turned off going to the virtual machine settings memory be able to adjust the amount of the ram right now i'm going to go ahead and assign 2 gigs which is uh, 2048 megabytes gives us 2 gigabytes next i'm going to go ahead and connect it to the external network i created previously next here we can uh, create new virtual hard disk or add existing virtual hard disk or later add a hard virtual hard disk. I'm going to go ahead and create a new virtual hard disk. I'm going to call it Windows 10. The format is .vhdx and uh, as we can see the location, see users public. We can change the location. I'm going to leave it default, the size 127 gigabyte. It's fine. Click next. And then how do we want to install operating system on this virtual machine? So we can install later, install from installation media or from the ISO image. I'm going to select the ISO image. This is Windows 10. Open. Next. So we can see on the summary page how everything looks good. Finish. Alright, so here we can see our Windows 10 uh, virtual machine. Well, this is just a uh, kind of brand new uh, bare metal computer. It doesn't have any operating system installed. Next step is to install operating system.